Oi! Brain damage. What's your game then? Host Olivia. That don't give you the right to come round here nicking gear, do it? I'm not nicking gear, mate. Leave all something old street sign. I mean, look. Ain't worth having a ruck over, is it? Oh, so it's a ruck you're after, is it? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Look, you should have stayed in the cab, shouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed. Uh, you, you have it, eh? I, I don't want it anymore. inspect the invoice and you will find that I am right and you are wrong. That's why my name is Wayne Wright. <laughs> oh, I think that straightened him out. The Munro Spares. Oh, at last, they're screaming out for these. Is that idiot driver back yet? Jim, what's it? Jim London, due back any moment, Mr Wainwright. He calls himself a driver. He couldn't drive a nail. He does his job, Mr Wainwright. He gets on well with the staff. Not with me, he doesn't. Well, not everyone, no. First chance, he's up the road, that one. As soon as he gets back, I'll get him across to Munro's with yeah, well, You do that. And tell him from me that if he gets lost this time, he'd better stay lost. Dispatch Wainwright. Dispatch Wainwright? Half the chance I would. <laughs> Lost again, eh, Jimmy? Ah, traffic's murder, isn't it? What do you mean, lost again? Well, let's face it, Jim. In the three weeks you've worked here, you've gone and got yourself lost more times than Mark Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on today? Yeah, do you know what, love? If you had brains, you'd have to wear a government health warning. <laughs> you'd be dangerous. <laughs> and if brains were dynamite, darling, you wouldn't have enough up there to blow your hat off. <laughs> yeah. Invite me around your place tonight, I'll show you what I've got under me at, that's all. <laughs> nice thought, Jim. But a pound for a penny, you'd end up getting lost on your way. <laughs> well, I'd have felt that. We hurt his little feelings, Rose. Yeah. Aww. You couldn't hurt this one, even if you were to jump on him. It's like water for that speck. Rose. Jim. You a rat bag. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> I love it when you talk, dirty to me. <laughs> Back to your vocal pair of rat bags. Listen, talking of rat bags, Wobbler Wainwright's been asking Sid where you've been all morning. Not again. You've got to watch your step with that one, Jimmy. That jumped up, never come down, little twerp, wants you out. <laughs> Must keep on your toes all the time. Are you telling me he delivered it? On time? <laughs> of course I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> Mr. Palmer's coming, Mr. Wainwright. Oh, crikey, the boss. Look busy. If I am busy, you don't have to look it. <laughs> look efficient. Not modern. Look electronic, for God's sake. Oh, yes, sir. My office right away. Morning, sir. Morning, Chop, chop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full, sir. Uh, just tell me that again. Yes. Hmm. So, basically, you're complaining that while our van was parked nearby, your bulldozer knocked down your hut. <laughs> I'd rather think that's your problem. Morning, Emma. Oh, good morning, Mr. Palmer. 
Emma, just forget you're a highly paid PA and get me a nice cup of coffee. Oh, and don't forget you've got to find me a new chauffeur. Yes, sir. Damn. Problem, sir. Anything I can do, perhaps. My chauffeur's up and left me without so much as a buy your leave. Found himself a new position in the south of France. Oh, dear. Yes, I've heard there are a lot of new positions in France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's more important things. The Yanks. I want you to familiarise yourself with these. It'll be the most important contract we've ever taken on. Right. There'll be no room for cock-ups. Never fear, sir. My department will run like clockwork. Clockwork? We're talking quartz, Paul. Quartz. <laughs> There's something else, Paul. Well, as a matter of fact, I did want to have a quiet word, sir. About getting a replacement delivery man, sir. I thought that new lad was working out all right. Well, he, he thinks he's Jack the lad, but he's a yobbo. Talks rough. You mean he's got an accent like me? <laughs> well, we'll hold up on that, Paul. I'll talk to you about it later. Very well, sir. <laughs> What happens when the clock strikes 12? Does he turn into a slug? Even slugs have a role to play, Emma. Right, what's the SP? Well, Pam called from Carlings. Si needs another copy of the contract for his MD. He's got to have it by three. His plane leaves at five. So if you sign this copy, we'll get it delivered to his hotel. I used to practice my signature when I was a kid. Should have saved me strength. <laughs> She's on to upset him. Oh. I reckon I've got a bad habit. You've several, darling. But which one does Wobbler object to? Breathing. Why, you do keep taking the mitt out of him, Jim. I mean, look at what you said to him last week. What about last week? Well, it was his fault. He made a cock up with his paperwork and blames me for delivering the wrong goods to the wrong customers. The man's a div. So what happened? Well, it's quite funny, really. I had a little word of him in his office, you know. I said, if God was ever going to give the human race an enemy, they'd stick the tube in him. What a... <laughs> or worse than that, thank you. <laughs> Jim, you're back. Hello, Sid. What was it this time, eh? A marauding back of the patches down the Walworth Road. How did you know they was the patches? It was a Blackfoot tribe last week. Oh, you're right, you're right. Wobbler Wayne writes, throwing one. What is it with him? He's got it in for you, that's what's with him, son. He reckons you're insolent, undisciplined. Yeah. Unfindable, uncouth. Unreliable. Oh, brilliant. Any advance on unreliable? Right, uncooperative. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. So I'm unreliable, uncouth, unfindable and uncooperative. Yeah. What is it of him? The man's a prat. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, I want to see you. Your place or mine? Now. <laughs> it's the right time to ask for a rise or what? <laughs> You've got more chance of being bit by a camel. <laughs> London, I'm waiting for you. Mm, get in the queue. <laughs> in now. Now you have upset him. You yeah, ain't frightened. Do you know who I am? Besides, I put a book down my trousers. Come on. <laughs> see you in my room. <laughs> right. I'm ready, London. Yeah, but is London ready for you? Now, there you go again, you see. Insubordination. Well, it won't wash with me, sunshine. I know the score. I've been around. Yes, you've been around. Birmingham, Brighton, Stoke on Trent. Right little Alan Wicker, you are, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Mr. Palmer. Sorry to bail for something urgent. Get this to Cy Carl in Tudor Tower Hotel by three. But certainly, sir. I'm expecting a driver to come back any moment. And what am I then? Scotch mist. <laughs> I am warning you, London. Your next job is to deliver the Munro spares. Oh. They're in Ronnie's van out the back. Now get going whilst you still have a job. Sorry about this, Mr. Palmer. Look, look, I can do the hotel first, then turn left over Crab Street, Battersea Bridge, and I'm away, and I... I said, out! Paul, that envelope's got to be on its way now. Yes, I realise that, Mr. Palmer, but this yobbo's not reliable enough. Hey, who are you calling a yobbo? To the tower reception, ask for Mr. Carlin's suite. Get it to the man personally, no one else, you understand? Just get it to the man at all costs. Hey, doddle, John. <laughs> <laughs> the playing fields of Oxton. That's Hoxton to you. <laughs> On West now, Chelsea. <laughs> and you? Up the elephant. <laughs> That's elephant to you. <laughs> Go on, you better hit the road, son. Yeah, I'm gone. Want anything? Walk back, Mom. Hey, Chris, roll him up there. No, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> he seems honourable. On the dole is where he'll be. As and when he cocks this one up. Instinct tells me he won't pull. Instinct. You want to try it sometime?
Jim, how'd he go? Still driving tonight? <laughs> you could jar on the birds off of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> and into my slumberland. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, going anywhere near my gap by any chance? Right past the door, mate. Oh, pop this in, would you? I forgot the missus' his birthday. <laughs> no problem, mate. Cheers, sir. personnel file on the new driver, James London, and a list of his former employers. Oh, yes. Is this it? Hmm. Unemployed since... Well, according to this, his last job was Class 3's milk monitor. <laughs> oh, very much, Jim. Oh, no problem, love. He sent lots of kisses and said, put some scent behind your knees. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> See you later. And you're ugly, but I can always wash. <laughs> hey? Mr. Carling's room, darling. It's double urgent. Mr. Carling? Oh, Mr. Carling and his party checked out 20 minutes ago. They left for Heathrow. You're jesting. I'm afraid I'm not. Five o'clock flight. Oh. 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 